Welcome back to my Let's Play for Lunar Dragon Song. It's time to talk to Tuvia. Or Tovia. He can tell you about the inside of the cave and that there's a stone flower in it. Honestly, I may have to look at this information before and I simply forgot about it. Because really, being able to take the stone flower earlier would have been to my benefit since I wouldn't have to now revisit it to go get the stone flower. Or maybe he would just told me about the blue dragon just to waste my time. Because there's one thing you learn, it's this games like this, sometimes I like to make you do backtracking. Just to pad themselves out a bit. Not all, but certain games like KOTOR are sort of famous for their backtracking, so I can't rule that out. I think we talked to him before, but... Remember, it gets a bit hazy after like a week, you know? I was hoping to avoid enemies, but I couldn't see it. Well, I guess I just need to have to cut them down with some firepower. Ah, you're still alive, are you? Well, how about this attack? Yeah, you better run. At least we reached a new level, I guess. Darn you, foreground foliage! You're blocking my view of everything! <sighs> mm. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how much I'm fine. I'm gonna have it work tomorrow. Being scheduled 6 of 2 can be a boon and a disadvantage, I suppose. The plus side is I get like an extra hour of sleep, so hopefully I won't be so tired I fall asleep when I go home. Because that tends to be a thing for me a lot. What the? What did I manage to do there? I found like a glitch spot or something? Weird. Well, this is eventually able to get to a different part of the different map. <sighs> First, now we got the hard part, I suppose, getting to the stone flowers. Ah! Jeez, they're everywhere. You're coming with me, magic booster. Oh, they weren't waiting for me right outside that entrance. Nice. That was unbelievably charitable of them. We'll run the outside course to it. Come on, come down here and fight. Get out of my way. Come on! Wiggle! Waggle! Zag! Whatever it takes to get in there! No, you can do it! Jeez. Oh, yeah, other side. Okay. How can this be? It's a stone flower, that's what it is. Well, it's not really a flower if it's made out of stone. It just looks like one. I suppose. He already told us they're made from stone. Jeez, you guys don't listen very well. A lot. Romantic? What's romantic about a stone? At least a stone shaped like this one. All that time spent. Sorry. All that time spent growing, and now we're just gonna steal it. Well, we need to help save the world. What can I say? It's going to a greater cause. Wow. I got only two of seven. Hmm. Ow! 
something threw a boulder at me. How evil. What the? You're still alive. Jeez. Guess they're telling me to eat rock. Quite the mean little enemy. At least that was a good, good for experience at least. Hmm. Ah, wiggle, waggle my way through there. Uh oh. That's right. Get out of my way. Make way for me, or I will destroy you. Slowly. Ah, crap. That wasn't even close to a good dodge attempt. That was just poor. In my defense, there wasn't much room. I guess I could have tried backing out and coming back in, though. Seriously? Your little arrow ain't gonna do squat. Well, uh, I have gotten some grinding done Zoid's Whispers, or Zoid's Whisper. I always want to put S on the end of that title, even though I don't think it's even in there. It's just the way I am, I guess. I have gotten probably strong enough now to start dealing with the Zoids in more bulk, though I wish I had a group healing spell. If I had one of those, I'd pretty much be sad. <sighs> I'll have to look and see if she ever learns one. If she does, I might try and just push my level up high enough to get it. On, um, the healer. Um. Okay. Oh, too far up. Are we through? And we're through. This shouldn't be too hard. Most of the enemies are out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, of course, it's blocking the exit. Hmm. Smash him. Come on. Well, at least I get to go first on all my characters. It's still alive? Was it defending or did I get an ambush? I don't say anything about an ambush. Oh, well, whatever. We're gonna have to stop here for a bit. Okay. Now we're back up to full strength. We're heading out the other side. And this is a path that's a bit longer, to be honest, but we're gonna have to take it. Just keep following the dirt path and you'll be alright. Jeez, some enemies hiding even in the woods. At least they're mostly not on the road, so it makes dodging them easy. Oh, yeah. Duh, I need to go down the ramp. Didn't notice it there for a second. Not too long, I suppose. Um... Um, yeah, those things will hurt you if they hit you. Fair warning. Okay. The Phantom Stone Flower, huh? Forgot which one was yes for a second. Prepare things for your collection, eh? So what else is in it? 
Uh, it's an airship. She's shaped really weird, though, ain't she? This looks like a giant mosquito, sort of. I did take a look at it. Hmm. Oh, I had to stand that and try and get inside of it. Never, never say never. Hmm. Hmm. Do you like the design? I don't know. I think it's sort of ugly myself. Personal taste, I suppose. Oh, you don't like heights? Well, this is going to be the fastest way to save Lucia, okay? Hmm. Um. <laughs> okay. This is called a... Levitation stone. It's going to be the power source for the airship. A stone that can fly? Hmm. Haven't seen one of those since Outlaw Star. When they're on that planet at the monopole. And that was more from magnets than anything. <sighs> okay. Yeah, so let's see some flying. I need two Levastation Stones, so I'm gonna have to go get you one. Great. Yep. It's hardly airship science. Yeah, I might take care of that just now, because... It shouldn't take me too long to hit up the ocean lab. Oh yeah, we want to go over this way. It's the fastest way out. Otherwise, you gotta go through a maze of like hallways and stuff to navigate this place. And forget that. If you're looking for the ocean lab, it's gonna be over on a very familiar island. But first, we're gonna have to get out of here and go back to the port town. Oh, there's a chest over there? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I can do without it for now. I'll try to remember to grab it when we swing by next time. <sighs> Probably have to heal myself, too. Ah, sorry. I didn't intend to do that. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll take out most of them right then and there. Wrong target, princess. Wrong one. You should hit the big round one that looks like a target. Well, I guess it didn't matter, but still. That's one that usually survives the most because it has, like, the most HP. Okay. And I need my health restored. And my mana back. The ocean lab's a bit on the tight side, so we might run to some enemies without really intending to. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ocean Lab's that building on the, um, side there. At least if I haven't completely lost all my marbles to this game. Oh, I was right. Good. Oh, yeah. Watch out for falling debris. And monsters dodge. And the green slime slows you down. 
So you get all kinds of fun here trying to stop you. I love now you're supposed to clear out some of these rooms. Um, almost pinned me there. I think we're looking for a switch. Great. Well, try and make this fast. Maybe if I upgrade my magic power stab, I'll be able to do this a bit easier. But I suppose it's sufficient. For now. Okay. Oh, that open that. Oh, there's another one. If there's one in this mess, it's going to be hard to get to without getting hit. Not in here. So that's been one of the rooms I went past already. Or there's another door I missed. Oh well, I'll find it. And that just leaves the eel. There you go, Eel. Goodbye. You're gonna make a nice wallet. Isn't that what you wanted to be? A wallet? Oh yeah, I just barely able to get through there. Oh, there is another side. Yeah. Guess I could have just ran through that door right then there. Okay, there must be a switch over here. Are there any other switches? While well, I'm in the area, you know, looking. Okay, so I'm gonna have to backtrack to that other room. Because I'm going to assume it's unlocked now. Ah, oh, man. Well, if I must, I must. If you run away in this game, you gotta yell into the mic, and then you're dazed for a bit, and you run sometimes in opposite directions of what you intended. So my advice is usually not to run away, unless you have to. That's why I usually fight the enemies if they touch me. Well, hopefully I think there's not much health left. Okay. Oh, that stuff on the floor is poisonous. Gotcha. Well, that does with that switch. We're gonna have to go back the other way. Ha ha, he missed me. Okay. Ah, shoot. They're all over me, man. Um, well, there goes the Ammonites. What about these guys with their chains? Obvious wannabe hollows, you know. Oh wait, you can't, you're a hole when you got the chain, then you become a hollow when you lose it. Jeez, I'm getting my bleach facts wrong. It's been too long since I played that game. Oh, we found the stone. Good. It's over here somewhere. Hmm. That's an interesting shape for a stone. Looks like it got cut. Hmm. 
Oh, come on. You can't smash it because we need it. Yeah, we really don't. Hmm. Flora? <laughs> you sound very defensive for someone who says you don't want to fly and you're afraid of heights. Uh, okay, okay, we'll go. I need to get out of here and deliver this stone. Then we have ourselves an airship. Ah, man, right in the middle of all of them. This is bad. Well, here's the hope we get lucky. I think one of these might survive this attack. If, yeah, that one. I saw a little damage it took from Gene's attack, so I was sort of expecting it. Okay. Hopefully we won't get touched by anything else, because I don't have Gene as attack to cleave most of their health right now. And we are so out of here. It's not a bad place to grind, though. But I'm not worried about that right now. I usually go in there sometimes and grind myself up to like level 50 something, so. It's easier to make your way through Vile Castle when you go there. I also want to make sure I stock up on um, MP items too. Which basically means those cards. Because there's certain areas in Vile Castle that, like I've mentioned, I think, previously before, you gotta completely clear all enemies out of, so... Being able to like, fast clear them with Jean's abilities is helpful. Very much so. Well... Like what? Third of the way there? Now I gotta remember to pick up that chest when we go by it. Um, if I even notice it. Oh, there it is. Just a healing drop? Oh, that's not a very useful game. Man, my back's starting to hurt. Why is this place overrunning with monsters anyway? Someone lives here, what does he do? Just ignore all the monsters? How? How do you just ignore the fact your house is full of monsters? I sit down and just go, I can ignore that. Dang. And those guys got weapon breakers. Okay. Maybe I should use Jean's attack again. I don't want to, but I'm, I can't risk it. Hopefully this ends it. And yet they're worth less experience than the enemies in the ocean lab. <sighs> but I got your stone. <sighs> Soccer, eh? XR45 Cherry Blossom. Oh, you're not going to fly it yourself? It 
Dude, you're not leaving them behind. Stop trying this. I'm getting sick of it. Someone please smack him. Yeah, please smack him on the back of the head. Please. Please do it. <laughs> Hold it together with your teeth. I'd like to see you try that. Yep, let's get airborne. Trying to see if this piece of junk really can fly. Okay. Sweet, we can now move fast between cities. This will become in handy for delivery jobs. Really in handy. I need to raise some cash so I can buy those better weapons in um that one village. Hopefully I'll find time to work on that to at least equip Gian if no one else. Till next time then. See ya.